welcome to Ice and Rice Geocaching Video Zine Microcache Edition. We take a look at upcoming episodes of the Video Zine and have tips, tricks, fun items, and great caches. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Ice and Rice Geocaching Video Zine Microcache Edition. Hi there! Welcome to Ice and Rice Geocaching Video Zine Microcache Edition. I'm Ice and Rye. Thanks for watching. Well, it's been a while since I've put out a microzine. It's summer here in the central interior and things have been crazy. Between vacation time and agility trials with Abo, I've been busy a lot of weekends. I haven't had a lot of time to stand here in front of the camera. But most of that's out of the way now, so it's time to get back into the swing of things. So, on this microcache edition, I have a very important article on a Parks Canada update that needs to get out today. So this is almost like an emergency episode, but we'll get to that in a second. And of course, I have highlights from the next episode of The Big Show, which should be coming out this week. And what that is, is a series of microcaches that I found when I was in the town of Vernon back in June on vacation. And if you've never been to downtown Vernon, there's a series of murals, 27 murals, located throughout the town. And someone's actually gone through the trouble of placing caches at some of these murals. Uh, some of them are multi. So if you find the entire series, you actually get a chance to see all 27 murals. And they're breathtaking. They're beautiful. So I shot a segment on that. It'll be coming up in episode 14. However, for this microzine, I got a few highlights. But anyways, let's not waste any more time. Let's get on with the Parks Canada update. Parks Canada update. Well, as some of you know from previous episodes, Parks Canada has temporarily banned geocaching in national parks and protected areas. Well, since then, they've consulted with the geocaching community, and they've actually come up with a set of guidelines for future caching. Now, as of now, caching is still prohibited, but they are working on a policy. Now, what they've done is they've actually come up with this nice form here. I'll have a link to it on my website. It'll actually be in the, in the uh, right on the front page as soon as you... Uh, see that the link for this video there'll also be a, a link for this document and one of the most important things in this document is if I flip to the last page is they actually have a feedback form and this feedback form must be submitted by August 11th as as I'm taping this it's August 7th so I'm gonna do my best to get this out today so if you're a Canadian geocacher Go to my website, IceandRye.com. I'll have a link. It'll take you straight to the Parks Canada website. We can download this form, read over it, make any changes you want, and get it back to Parks Canada. Because it has to be in this week as of this taping. So we only have a few days. I got a little behind on the ball on this one. But the policy itself doesn't actually look too bad. I'll be getting into more details in episode 14 coming up a little later this week. But for now, go to my website, IceandRye.com link to the Parks Canada site, get this form. If you have any feedback you want to get to Parks Canada, get it away right away. All right, back to the fun stuff, geocaching. Well, I always like to put a little caching in every episode, and as I explained earlier, episode 14 is going to have some great footage from Vernon featuring the Vernon Mural uh, Cache Series. So let's not waste any more time. Let's roll the film, have a look, and enjoy. You'll see. Bye-bye. So our first mural is called The City of Vernon, and it features a pair of gentlemen who were considered to be the, the Wright Brothers of Vernon. And they actually built the first plane ever in Vernon, and that's basically what's depicted behind me on the wall. And this is actually one of the uh, stages in one of the multi-caches, and nearby there's a very small micro that gives you coordinates to, uh, actually this one gives you coordinates to the third and final stage, which is located fairly close by. But anyway, since the first mural, there's more to go, and I'm not going to get to all of them, but uh, we'll show you some good highlights. We're off and running. This day is not gonna wait. The sun will eventually set, and my good mood will be broken again. But what you gonna do when your summer comes to this? Besides, have a little fun, nothing can touch that place. So I hope you enjoyed that brief look at the upcoming episode 14. It was a lot of fun filming it. It was a lot of fun putting together. And I'm sure you'll enjoy watching it once the whole episode is out. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of Fighting Rise Geocaching Video Zine Microcache Edition. So until then, make sure you go to my website, IceandRite.com, get the form from Parks Canada, and of course, cash on.